Hello everyone, it's the Architects here and in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create panel passes in three different ways. As you can see in this example, we have a panel passer type, we have panels and grouse combined together and in the next example, we also have some openings, there are some windows or instead of windows, you can also add doors and also as you can see in this example, there are another different designs. In ArcGIS, you can make all of these very easily. We have another example right here. As you can see, some of the panels was replaced with three-dimensional decorative elements. All right, let's jump into the ArcGIS. All right, here we are in ArcGIS, and as for the first way of doing that, we are going to start with curtain wall panel tool. You can use curtain wall tool as a simple structural wall. At the very first, you are going to determine a structural method one of these and after that you want to continue with your reference line. If we just zoom inside, you can see the parts of the curtain wall panel. In addition to that, you can use more settings by hitting Ctrl plus T. Once you hit the Ctrl plus T, you will see a window like this. If you don't want to learn curtain wall settings, you can always use these predetermined schemes by ArchiCAD. But as you can see, we have only one options here. But when you open up the scheme, you will see much more options and change their settings according to your project and continue with them. But I want to show you how to use curtain wall panel from scratch. At the very first, we are gonna click this clear pattern and we will see a blank working area. At the very first, I recommend you changing this number of divisions to fixed sizes and also as for columns. By doing that, we can directly input correct extents of the panels. For example, let's input here 100 because in the future I want to place doors into that and this size can be changed according to the building's height. If we just say building height is 3 meter, we can split the two pieces, one can be 270 and other can be 30. Alright, once we have decided the extents of the schemes, now we can determine the panel types and its border types. You will see deleted panel text here, open up the menu and select the panel type. This is a single panel, you can divide that apart. In order to do that, we are going to click the edges and from here, we will select full extent of the edge by this icon. After that you open up this menu and select your edge type or border type. We will also select this interior separator lines. And from the same menu, we choose our edge type again. Of course you can free to select different types for the edges. But in this example, I want to make them one single type. As you can see, once we have done that, we can select different panel types independently and assign different panel types. Now let's click the OK and look at what we have. At the very first in the floor plan you will see some changes and also in the 3D window. As you can see all of the interior edges are the same and a different border type. OK, let's go back to the settings with Ctrl plus T. Let's go to frames. Malium frame was selected and built in frame and in this menu we are going to determine our frame type. If we select but glazed frame type, panels will be visible in front of the frames. Let's click OK. There we go. Our frames at behind and panels are also mounted on them. Alright, once we have done that, we are going to change panel types. Let's go to panel menu. And we are going to select the distinct panel. At the bottom of the window we have the place that can be changed of the panel surface. Now we can determine surface type without changing aluminum element type. In addition to that if you want to create different panel types, you can always duplicate your panel type and change its settings. Let's call this distinct panel 2 and click OK. Let's assign a dark grey material. Yeah, this one, paint dark grey. Let's continue with the OK. 
and after that it's time to assign our new panel types to the facade. From the scheme menu, here we are going to click the panel. At the bottom opening menu, we will be able to select our new panel type. This is ok, but now I want to change the border type. To do that, let's go to frames. Here we will see boundary frame. Same options, we have a menu with a couple of option frame type. And there we go, all of the frames are the same. Once we have decided the settings, now we can change its stand. And we will see our pattern is going to be continued. We have dark grays and light grays. Furthermore, you can select the panel, click edit. And now we are in the custom editing window. With this window, we can directly select our panels and turn them anything we want. We can assign different panel types. We can turn them into windows, doors, sliding doors and much more. In order to change the panel type, we are going to use this menu. And you will see over the surfaces will be changed. If you want to place door or window, we are going to follow these steps. At the very first, if you want to place a door which has got two leaves, you gotta enlarge your width by deleting appropriate frames. Once you've got bigger panels, you can turn them with this menu. You can even select corner panel or you can select other panel types. For instance, we have got door sliding. Once you click that, you will see your panel was turned into door. If you want to change your door width or height, you gotta change your frame sizes. Or instead of deleting them, you can just combine them by deleting interior frames. Just like this. By the way, if you want to look at from this angle, you will realize your frames are visible. And it's very helpful if you are going to use elevation or sections. And also, in the floor plan, your frames and doors are also visible. Alright, this was the first way of doing this panel facade. We have got three additional ways of doing that. The second one, which I am showing you, is not the correct way and this way is very old. I am not suggesting. Which is, you are going to create morphs, which you can make them in any way you want and subtracting them from the main wall. For instance, let's presume we have a wall just like this. And I'm gonna use Morph tool. Once we select Morph tool, we are going to sketch it out on the wall. For the building method, I'm gonna use rectangular, but rotate it rectangular. Just like that. Once we created our main shape, we are going to click the surface and extrude or push pull inside towards to the wall and we are gonna right click and make some solid element operations etc etc as i said before it's an old way i'm not suggesting you let's move on and jump into the third way which is new arcade 25 option advanced opening tool with this new opening tool we can create amazing shapes and we are completely free we can just combine circular polygonal, rectangular shapes onto one single object, which can be placed on the any object in ARCHICAD. As you can see in this example, now we are going to use array tool, Ctrl plus U. By the way, I want to uncheck this vertical displacement and let's just array. Let's presume we have 100 distance and there we go. We've got our panels. If you want to ask me, do we have only vertical panels? No, we can even turn them and rotate them in any direction we want. We can do that in directly in 3D window, also in the elevation plans. Once we copied our opening part, we can easily modify them. Let's just zoom in, just like that. And we're gonna select reference blue lines. And you will see your editing options. I'm gonna use offset edge for now and I'm gonna use offset edge again to align the starting edge beside the wall. If your opening tool is too small for editing in the 3D window, you can just take help from elevations. As you can see in the elevations, you can easily zoom in and edit easily and precisely. 
You can even use multiply. And you can array your shapes pressly. Just like this. Alright, once you have created your design, if we just zoom in and look at our design, we can see behind the wall. I don't know, maybe you want to use this as is, but if you want to or if you don't want to see behind the wall, we've got the way, which is we are going to select all of the openings in the settings. You can hit Ctrl plus T. And by the way, if you don't want to see your openings in the floor plan, you are going to use this no symbol. Let's go to OK. And we are going to use this limit options, which we've got also settings dialog. Once you click that, you will see your opening only cut one side of the wall. You can turn the cut direction by hitting the mirror button just like that. There we go. We have created our panel wall in different way. Once you created this, you may want to see your opening in your floor plan. But in the floor plan, you will realize that you got some reference axis. You can just turn them off in this floor plan and section menu and you will see a cleaner floor plan. In the floor plan, you can select your openings and modify them. This was the base of making panel facade walls in ARCHICAD. I've shown you three different ways. First and the last one are the best. Using curtain wall tool is more parametric, but the last method has got more capabilities. Which one you will use can be changed according to your time and design. I hope you have enjoyed watching and learned something with this tutorial. If so, please hit the like button and I will be motivated for new tutorials. Also, if you want to download this and my similar tutorial files as well as different tutorials, you can join my Patreon channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.